Hey guys, Broheen here from the Gamer Emporium channel bringing you a little tip on how to make a little bit of cash in Rift. It's actually quite easy, um, however this method does require being a patron, and in my opinion you should be a patron anyways because it's, it's just way better. So um, I go out to Morbin, out to Arlen's challenge. So go here, and this is going to entail using your, your artifact tracking vial and omen sight. So we can go ahead and apply those right away. Mount up and we're gonna kinda run up to like this area here. So we're gonna head out this way and keep an eye on the mini-map. I mean you'll see artifacts come up on the mini-map. God damn if I can't hit the right key for my life here. But I'm not gonna worry about those but I'm just gonna show you on the mini-map how how crazy this is. I would use resource tracker like I usually do, but uh, for some reason that add-on just stopped working, and I don't know why. I haven't checked for updates, but probably should. Yeah, don't necessarily need it though. Um, usually the mini-map is good enough for me, for the, for this purpose anyways, so. Basically, run up here. There's some artifacts up here, um, which on the map looks like in this general area here. There's some up there, but I'm not going to focus on that yet. There's usually always a bunch right here, but we're just going to run up and kind of, you know, mini-maps all the way zoomed out, so we're going to run up here and check, see where some artifacts are. Some of these are clumped in like threes or fours. If no one's been out here forever, um, they'll be around um, like two or three in the same spot. It's kind of nice. There are enemies out here, though, which does kind of suck, but yeah, what can you do? So, it seems like this shard, I'm on deep wood still, but this shard seems to have a lot of people that may have come through, because usually I see a lot more, but we'll check the one spot up here. So there's a couple over here. We're actually going to go ahead and hop shard right now because it seems like somebody just came through here. <clears throat> Alright, so you get artifact. Now you're going to have uh, white artifacts, red artifacts, and if there ever is a um, zone event for artifact collecting out here, like an unstable morbin, you'll get the, uh, um, the bluish purple colored ones as well. Now some of these are kind of tough to get. Like this guy here might be tough to get without without using um, angelic flight. That's the easiest way I've found to get up there. And to some of these, angelic flight is unfortunately specific to elves. But um, so if you're a human race or something other than an elf, you may not be able to get angelic flight, which kind of suck for finding artifacts but it's not the end of the world so check out the map now we have a bunch all over here and we're just gonna run up and collect them all you want to use a really good farming spec um, I'm using right now using the uh, um, my warrior because he's got Dreamweaver for a 35 champion 41 warlord build that I have a video up of so I just sometimes I forget the buff out here because I've been out here for so long At the end of collecting a few of these and kind of taking you around the route, I'll show you about how much you can get for spending about an hour out here. So look at this. There's There was just literally six of them in the same area here. So if you ever come across one and it's surrounded by mobs, you're going to want a decent AoE spec. Um, just to you know throw down the mobs real fast. Otherwise, it's not really you're you're burning time on potions if you're using single target. So I'm just gonna mark here. So that way I remember there's a couple there. Some of these are buried in here too, and I don't like that. There's some of them right on the edge. Come on, let me click it. Jeez, artifacts, God, love to hate them. You are blocked from mounting. Well, okay then. So 
sometimes, well, you know, you saw me run up there. Usually there's one right there. Sometimes you, after doing this for a while, you start to remember where a lot of the common ones are. To the point where you really don't even need to look at the map. Like, here's a twisted artifact. Uh, there's also a set of artifacts that you get from, uh, from farming out here called the Little Black Book. Oh, this is a perfect opportunity for this. Except I got this bastard on here. It's normally a big pain in the ass to get up here, right? And so, but then when you go like this, boom, right there, just that simple. So angelic flight for the win. <clears throat> So by now, you've seen, you know, this area up here, usually there's, like, sometimes there's the better end of, like, six to eight up in here. There's some on a ledge right here. Um, right now, we're about to go over by, like, the Citadel, and there's a bunch that are right in here. There's also some around the bone structures around this side, and all the way through the top up here. So you can do one big loop around, you know, going from all the way around and then swap shards and do it all over again. So, see there's three more up here. A lot of times I don't even worry about the crap attacking me just because it doesn't matter, I just mount through it. Some of these are a pain in the ass to get to. Some of these two, like, yeah, I'm not going to spend that much time going and trying to get that one. Because it gets to a point where I start to spend more time than what it's worth. And that's not good either. When you can kind of drop trying to get that one and go collect three other ones in an area right next to where that is. And, you know, you benefit more that way, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Rather than wasting so much time trying to get one, just move on and go get the other three. You know, kind of like that. I'd probably still be sitting there jumping trying to figure out how to just land just right on that ledge just to get that one. So in this case, didn't have to, just move past it. Uh, once done in here... God. Collision. Terrible. Terrible. Run through mobs. Now I'm not going to pick so many up. I'm just going to kind of go around and show you. Some down here. There's some up top of the rocks. There's two more right here. Is there my direct path? Might as well grab them. Some of them stick out like a sore thumb, too. Those are the nice ones. Okay, when you get back down around to the beginning portion. Oops, we want to be right over there. This is usually where I pick my starting point up here at this little, this little cul-de-sac area, I like to call it. And then we'll do teleport shard to Greybriar. That's pretty much the loop. I mean, just kind of run around this area of Morbin. And you'll find them. As long as you have the artifact tracking vial on and omen sight on, you'll find them. So that's usually not an issue. I just wonder why not many are spawning out here. Figures, usually there's a shitload out here. And now when I want to make a video on this, there's none spawning. So I might have to come back another time and redo the video on this. But this is a, a quick, easy way to get money in Rift. Because what happens is you collect all this. And if you're Dreamweaver, I don't even see. I can collect them, but I don't. I just break them down, and I get these uh, these Dream Ribbons. And with the Dream Ribbons, you take those, and I have eight Dream Bolts on me. That's eight stacks of 99. And with those, you take them, sell them on the auction house, or you can make them into Dream Orbs and sell those on the auction house for a little more. But I mean, you'll have to be your best judge or your own judge on what to sell them for. As soon as you break all these down, um, you get them in 
in Dream Ribbons here, stacks of 99 sell for sometimes anywhere between 33 to I've seen go as high as 45 plat per stack, which is, is pretty pretty good. So now to put this into perspective for you, farming out here in Morbin, usually in a half hour's worth of time, I get three to three and a half stacks of Dream Ribbons. So that that is if the artifacts are bountiful out here. You know, like tonight, not really all the time. Maybe a lot of people learned about the spot since I, you know, started doing this. But for the most part, I never really see anybody else out here. So it's just random number generation on the spawn timers. But um, regardless, get dream weaving, max that out, collect these artifacts, break them down, sell them on the auction house, sell the dream ribbons on the auction house, and um, make your money that way. That's how I've made all my plat for the last few months. You know, I've got almost 2k on this character. I think I've still got, I think I'm backed up to about 3 or 4k on Shadow. I think I still have 700 to a k somewhere in there on Broheen. So, um, it's pretty good. So for a half hour worth of time to get 3 to 3.5 three stacks, which means in an hour, if you farm for the duration of Omen Sight, that's um, 7 stacks-ish of Dream, or, or Dream Ribbons and... Then we're talking, you know, Buko Plat, you know, 7 times 40. You know, do the math. That's just shy of 300 Plat if you're on the higher end. So, and that's for an hour's worth of work. Sure beats the shit out of what I used to do with Imperium Bag Farming. So, anyways, guys, so that's a quick tip for me. Uh, I'm sorry, it kind of took a little longer, but um, I wanted it to be a quicker video, but it is what it is. So, that's my tip for you on how to make money in Rift. And please apply yourselves to this and... Um, you know, make it happen, keep the economy up. Thanks for watching, everybody.